in this video we will learn how to apply causes law causes law is valid for any distribution of charges and for any closed surface now we already know that if we know about distribution of charges in a system and if it has enough symmetry to let us evaluate the integral in causes law we can easily find the electric field again if we know the field we can use the causes law to find the charge distribution we will now see how could we solve problem using causes law i would mention the steps through few observation that might prove useful while solving causes law problem now now before solving any problem or applying causes law you must know that causes law is the most useful in situation where the charge distribution has spherical or cylindrical symmetry in such situation you can find the direction of electric field using the symmetry of distribution of charges so begin your problem analysis by finding the symmetry of charge distribution now after symmetry you have to select the surface to use with gauss's law and such a surface is called gaussian surface and i have already talked about gaussian surface in the video where i introduced the concept of gauss's law usually you can evaluate the integral in gauss's law only if the gaussian surface and charge distribution have some symmetry property so if charge distribution of your problem has cylindrical symmetry choose gaussian surface to be a coaxial cylinder and if your charge distribution has a spherical symmetry choose gaussian surface to be a concentric sphere now that you had chosen the gaussian surface for your charge distribution you can carry out the integral in gauss's law which is e e dot da is equals to q upon epsilon not where this q is charge enclosed inside the gaussian surface now you can imagine your closed gaussian surface to be made up of number of portions the integral over entire surface would be equal to the sum of integral over each portion now if electric field is at right angles to the surface of area a at all points and has same magnitude at all points of the surface then we have this e in perpendicular direction is equals to a constant and this integral e perpendicular dot da is equals to e a again if electric field is perpendicular and points along inverse direction then this e perpendicular is equals to minus e and integral e perpendicular da is equals to minus e a again if electric field is parallel to surface at all points then this integral would be equals to zero also if electric field is equal to zero at all points of the surface then also this integral would be equals to zero so you should keep all these points in mind while solving gauss's law problem after solving your problem you can now evaluate your answer which might be a function describing how the magnitude of electric field varies with position you can now examine this function and check if it makes sense or not if it does not make sense then you can again go through the trouble of <laughs> correctly applying the gauss's law to your problems and for more information and notes visit our website physicscatalyst.com